with how much uh, Yoda is able to turn your dice anyway, you can usually you get everything out there in one big action. Yes. Uh, you don't need the Emperor's Throne Room to mop up for you. Hmm. Yeah, so th this will be an interesting pair because we have these characters, you know, from the first set of the game, Han and Rey. They had a great showing at Worlds last year. I am, for one, very curious to see if this archetype can stand up in the new meta. Uh, so that's one of the reasons we have this pairing on the, street, on the stream because I don't know that anybody else is running Han and Rey here. I don't think so. It's definitely not... Uh, a favorite to win, but the it's not a current meta deck, so to it's speak. It's not a current meta deck, but the the great thing about the meta right now is how narrow the gap is between the tier one yes. and tier two. Uh, you pilot skill, you know, can factor in a lot here. And uh, I know that that Zach at least has expressed that he thinks he has a pretty good matchup against Yoda Hondo. Now he did lose to Mateus, so obviously he's not mm. infallible. But I mean, I know these guys test their decks. They run them through this gauntlet of the decks they expect to see at Worlds. Uh, so, Gavin is from the USA. He was 17th at Worlds 2017. So, Ooh, just high place the there. Whereas, of course, Zach was top four at 2017 uh, and top four in the large 2018 Texas Regional. So, both of these guys have a great competitor pedigree. Uh, I think we're going to see some high-level play. Zach's got Hidden yes. Blaster uh, truce. I see a four speed over here for Gavin, a light bow, a hyperspace jump. And force illusion. Force illusion. Is that a pro? Uh, there's a promo copy of guard there in Zach's, but he's going to mulligan all that stuff away. Just keep mm. the hidden blaster. What did Gavin keep? Did you see that? No. Oh, sorry. That's fine. We will see their uh, their post mulligan here in just a second. On the rollout, I think it favors Zach in terms of just having higher numbers on his dice and those specials to come For up. Sure, yeah. And, I mean, Zach, I think, really wants to fight in the Starship Graveyard because the Emperor's Throne Room does no good for him. Oh, yeah. Whereas Starship Graveyard, him. not really going to be something that Yoda is going to get um, mileage out of other than maybe Second Chance mm -hmm. if it and comes to that. And Zach running such a fast deck definitely wants to get off on the right foot and keep that lead there. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now, Han Ray maybe hurt a little bit by the changes in overwrite, how you're only able to overwrite once per round. Right. But I think that the balance, the change with Vibra Knife was more than sufficient. So he kept Lipo. He's so got an Entangle. He's got a Rebel. Is that two fair trades? Yeah, that's two fair trades. Wow. There's a synchronicity in there. Is that synchronicity or is that repost? I think it was repost. And we will get the roll off here to see who goes first. Like I said, I think Zach really wants to win this one, but with four on the dice, not going to be enough. Ooh. Which battlefield? Ah, okay. Well, he gets his battlefield anyways. Wow. I guess uh, the shields are just that important. Yeah, I mean, if I'm Zach, I'm pretty happy with that outcome, to be honest. Yeah. I feel like that's what I would have chosen anyway. Okay, he has Entangle here, Absolutely. four speed. So surprising no one. Hidden Blaster, two actions, mm -hmm. and removes the shield from Yoda. And gives a shield to Han. And I always love, I mean, that's so with Han here, you roll Disrupt, cool. You just made your opponent poor for the round. You roll damage, that's fantastic too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. nice. See? That was good. Just that was nice. Swap resources here. He gets the gets the blaster out and he gets two more dollars to spend. That's a solid play. He's gonna overwrite into Ray's lightsaber, give her two shields. And Ray now has a great weapon. It's going to help her resolve those modified sides that were the bane of my existence when playing Ray. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Five damage. And That's a the great start. the resource to pay for it. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, people are asking about, you know, how much it costs to come to Worlds. or thing. Uh, if you've never been to a World Championships, I highly recommend it. I went to three of them. There we go. We're up to nine damage now for Zach. Went to three of them before I started working for Fantasy Flight. Uh, just a chance to meet people who are as passionate about mm -hmm. these games as you are. 
chance to compete against you know many of the best players in the world. You'll make friends from all over the world that you'll see you know at, at these other events. Year after year, I see these people at Gen Con and, and Worlds and, and other large conventions and events. Mm -hmm. yeah, Absolutely recommend going to Worlds if you get a chance. It's a, it's a great culture here. It's not a cutthroat everyone trying to snatch the prize as much as it's a lot of Certainly. camaraderie and community. Now, we don't get to play in Worlds because, you know, that would be a All little bit us. weird. <laughs> Man, he Those just needs that resource. What me. can Zach do to get that cash? Does he just... Uh, does he need it, though? He's got six melee, and then he can repost for two if it comes to that. But he cannot get all the damage out that he wants. Yeah, you reroll for uh, Han trying to get the two, or what do you do here? Yeah, it'll be sad to leave three damage on the table, but... And then you can claim and pull that hidden blaster back. Yeah. And uh, and do it again next turn. <laughs> Never bad. So much value on that hidden blaster, like one action. BMX Rider making the bold prediction in the chat that the hero deck will win. And uh, I got to say, I agree. <laughs> we haven't seen a lot of villains yet, have we? Really just stopping to consider what's the best way. I mean, he's got the damage if he can get a resource to kill Yoda, even if he has to reroll into the two, but that's not a high percentage play. Let's go six, to Hondo. six on Hondo. Mm -hmm. Wants to just leave the uh, Force Illusion for now when you can chip away at it later. Probably not a mistake there. Yeah, that's a good thought. Try and... Uh Knock someone Undo out earlier. coming in. Zach doesn't have the money to pay, so he's going to be taking the damage. And he's going to be taking that twice, more than likely. Turning the other Yoda die to a special. Yep. Get a cash, change a die, and then two specials. Who do you go for first? Two Hondo specials. Ooh. Han can no. be second chance. You don't know that Zach's not running it. Right. Um, Han's also going to get those shields over and over again, so he gets annoying to kill sometimes. But there it is, six, six on Han. On. Half I think, dead. I think that's the right play, yeah. <laughs> and Zach just what debating Zach if he just wants to claim and walk away. He wants to try and get some value out of that, but, I mean, sitting on that repost is not a bad, it's not a bad thing to have. Mm -hmm. Especially since Ray's still got two shields on her. I mean, yeah, that yeah, there we go. And the Hidden Blaster back on top of his deck so he can do it all again next turn. If he can do four damage to Hondo here in a hurry. Yeah, he if he can roll out and just pop Hondo, that's yeah. a huge, huge swing. Mm -hmm. Which is very possible with the double ambush action going on. Yeah, I know out there uh, between games, looking at the deck lists that are that are being played, so you got Hidden Blaster, Truce, and Tingle, Guard, and the Repost. And on the other side... I see a lipo. I see a what well, looks like a hasty exit. Uh, but seeing all the all the um, decks out there, there's a lot of variety. It's pretty gr pretty awesome. Nice. So there's three damage and a resource. That's better. Truce with ambush. Yep. Yep. Get the money and resolve the three damage to Hondo, leaving Hondo just one away. Two away. Oh, you're right. Two. <laughs> he must have got a shield. So. No, uh, he had a shield to start, did right. six damage to him, did five, plus three. <laughs> so now, so, you, does he, he doesn't have, yeah, Rep Repost will kill him. He does not have second chance in play, and he's also maybe not considering Rep Repost as a, uh, as a play here. You should be. Yeah. But it's, it's one of those things that I find people lose track of all the time. Does he anticipate that? I don't think he does. And that roll going to do him no favors. Yep. And that kills Hondo. Seals the deal and leaves Ray free to go after a Yoda. It's going to be a Ray. A very fast down. and illusory Yoda, but not going to be mm -hmm. uh, putting out a lot of damage. And that loaded up Ray is already looking pretty scary. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean. 
Ray, in either of her iterations, can be a just an absolute combat monster. Mm -hmm. Ray's dice can be annoying if you don't have, you know, base damage sides. But as you get the more, more and more dice out there, it becomes less and less of a problem. Yeah. Remember, after this game, there will be Imperial Assault Top 16. So those Imperial Assault players who are watching Hangout, you will be taken care of very soon. So Gavin taking his time there, really trying to think if there's anything he can do here, but that was not probably the special he wanted to see. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm looking for shields. Yeah. Need to shield up and for what you are about to receive. Let's see what he rolled on. And oh, yeah. that'll do. Five damage. Take there. the three resources and lay down five damage. Gavin's got cash. Three. He's got. Uh, he's got not much in the way of control. He's got rebel. But I don't remember what's uh, in his discard. In his discard pile to play. Tough situation there Ooh. for Gavin. Looking at me, he, he does have easy pickings. He does have Entangle in the deck. I don't think he's got them to play, though. So Zach did lose an easy picking and a guard. That's a good set of cards to lose, but mm -hmm. now takes his three, his two cash. Three cash. Gavin just does not have a lot of options here. Get the lipo down while he's got nothing else competing for his uh, his action there. And then claim off the four speed for the second action. Wow. I wonder if sure not Zach a is great pleasantly feeling. surprised that his five damage is going unmitigated here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Feels good. So Gavin that's pretty good. That's not so bad for you. <laughs> What was that? Oh, he oh, was he going through legend. going through for Frozen Wastes um, to see if there's any cards in his discard pile to take. Sorry. Mm. So Zach has got... Right, looks like a Holdout Blaster alt art. Maybe two. Uh, I think that's what I see there. And an Entangle. Truce. Entangle. And Gavin had uh, Impulsive. I didn't see. Is that Dive? So he played Lone Operative. Know. Gavin played Lone Operative. Mm -hmm. And Han rolls out for <laughs> five damage, which is enough to kill Yoda if unmitigated. So Overconfidence comes out to take at least one of those away, leaving still three, three damage on. on the table. Ouch. Not at all what Gavin was hoping to re-roll into. Only in Ray. Ooh, not a great roll. Not great, but uh, Zach Some still has the cards in hand to re-roll if needed. Oh, and yeah, that was... Five damage. Five. Five going through. Mm hmm So Yoda with five health remaining. What happened to Zach's five damage last turn? I think he got Force Illusion. It did. Yeah. Good catch. Still, I mean, Focus nowhere focused. near killing Han. Yeah, you can focus to the light bow special. That would help, but still. It'll help. It will prevent another uh, repost. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Zach's still got the cash to, to do that damage. Still has two a force illusion one. in hand as well as a, actually two force illusions and an entangle. So Zach's got options there. Han Ray performing surprisingly well. It's the real deal. Yeah, 
And we're going to have to see what is Gavin going to <laughs> make happen here. He's really only got the one damage dealing die out there. Mm -hmm. So you focus what? Lone, lone operative to its, uh, its own special? Yeah, with one character, that'd be pretty good, but you're just buying yep. time. So he's going to chain through most of these right here. Go to a Yoda special. Mm -hmm. And Turns off specials. Do the heal. Yep. Get the shield. Get the money. Not going to get the shield? Or is he going to take resource and turn the die? He's going to turn the die. Yeah, take yeah. resource and turn yep, the die. Yep, yep. No, he took the shield and turned the die. He put the money back. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> so Han's at seven. Seven, yep. Zach cannot second chance right now. I don't know that he's particularly sad about that just yet. Because with, uh, with one more ambush weapon, he can at least... Boom, roll out Han and resolve if needed if Han's going to be in danger of death next turn. Ooh. Right, yeah. He didn't have the cash for all that, though. Yeah. Zach that can do four. damage would be four. nice, but... Mm -hmm. Still looking through and see if there's anything useful in that discard pile, and uh, hasn't changed that much. Mm -hmm. Loses Rebel. Yeah, Starship Graveyard here helping uh, Zach much more. Yep. Yeah, it's one of those things that it's great if you plan for it, if your deck's built around it, but mm -hmm. a lot of times the utility just isn't there, mm -hmm. you know, unless, you know, unless somebody's just randomly one off discarding stuff that you need, which is not a super common effect if you're not playing against like a mill deck or something. And, Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert, mill decks aren't going to run Starship, Gra Starship Graveyard for you to use. <laughs> yes, they do not want to give you any option to get your cards back. That's for sure. These guys both just weighing their options. Gavin goes first, but does he overwrite for another Lipo and lose the healing and the sustain of Lone Operative? I don't know. He's going for speed here, I think. Yep. Trying to knock Han out. He got well, the, the four speed special, but Zach can. Four speed uh, special and a uh, focus, so he can resolve quite a few. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just take out all the damage dealers from there. Seems good. Mm hmm. Now you know that Han is safe for this whole round. Wow. And that's the problem you have with, with Yoda. I mean. Mm hmm. In a situation where your main damage dealer dies, Yoda can be controlled too easily, I, I found a lot of times. like mm -hmm. I had a lot of success with Qui-Gon Yoda, but if they killed Qui-Gon and I didn't have redeploy weapons or hadn't invested in Yoda, you're just in a serious uphill battle. Yeah. I mean, Yoda is a beautiful support character. Uh, not so much a closer on his own. And those... Force waves and uh, light bows are awesome for Yoda, but getting the resources paid for them is sometimes difficult too. Well, there he's gonna get to uh, gonna get two shields and a resource out of that, likely. Double blanks on huh? Han. <laughs> it can be fixed. It can be fixed. Yeah, Han's <laughs> dice. Getting the ambush actions off Ray and then rolling them in, either resolving a disrupt or damage right off the bat, is just so powerful sometimes. Mm -hmm. And as expected, chaining into the remainder of his actions, getting the shields, probably getting a resource out of that too. Yep. Up to three resources. He's going to leave the four speed out there. So if he maybe needs to play two control cards, is that like a dot? Is that a dive or something? He's yeah, yeah, he's got dive. dive. He's also running defend. So he's keeping the uh, keeping the option to control if needed, but now Zach just needs a base damage side. Yeah, dive could save him from Han holdout blaster death here. Yeah, it really depends on how much 
how much damage Zach is able to reroll into. Mm -hmm. But I don't see a lot of, I mean, I don't see any other control in that hand. It's just impulsive, light bow, lone, lone operative, and dive. He's just got to bite his time. Now, Zach, knowing that he's got cards, he's got resources, you've got to expect the... There you go. There's your target for dive. It's not likely yeah. to get much better than that. That three range. <laughs> Two disrupt. Yeah, I'm not sure he can afford to wait. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got to because the disrupt can turn it off. Yeah. And I mean, worst case, you're only doing two less damage than your than your best case mitigation there. Mm -hmm. What does he do with his ambush action? And there's the reroll that Ray was looking for. Oh yeah. Four melee showing. Oh, it looks like there may have been an easy pickings play by uh, Yoda there that was not allowed because it is spot yellow. I don't oh. think it is going to end up mattering anyway. in this case. But mm -hmm. it's one of those things, easy pickings, electroshock, a lot of the great yellow control that we see so often is spot yellow. So mm -hmm. important to remember that. Once your Hondo dies, don't have all your yellow tricks anymore. So three health left on Yoda. Unhurt Ray, <laughs> rocking three upgrades. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I would uh, feel about that if I'm Gavin. Is it worth it for, uh, for Zach to reroll, you think? I don't really want to give up either of those upgrades. You got it. You're gonna get it. But he gave up the handcrafted. Yeah. Because he does have a chance to get the kill. Discard one of those remaining cards from Gavin. We're going to the next round. An ambush weapon here can win it for Zach before the game, e before the, uh, the turn even starts. Mm -hmm. Which I suspect we will see. Does he have one in his hand? Is the question. He's got easy picking cyberspace. Uh, ancient. See an ancient. And hidden motive. Hidden motive. Two, Two hidden, hidden motives. motives. He's got hidden oh. motives. So no. Uh, second uh, force illusion now played there onto Yoda. Overriding that was yep. the force speed. So Yoda's going to not be that easy to kill. Yoda now, do you just in play an ancient on Han? Is there a reason? Not, oh, wow. Um, is there a reason not to? Zach's got the money. Yeah. I mean, get I more would. dice on the table. Even if, even though uh, the damage type doesn't work oh with Han, man. specifically, the healing's worth it, if nothing else. Yeah, now that is enough to kill Han in two actions, right? Light bow special and uh, rogue, rogue uh, lone agent, uh, lone operative. You don't even need... Uh, Lone operative. You just special the Yoda into the light bow and the three to Han, right? You're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those of you who are worried about uh, end of Destiny streaming for today, do not worry. All day Sunday is going to be nonstop Star Wars Destiny. Pure excitement. We got you covered. Mm -hmm. Got to spread the love around here with the Imperial Assault players and their top 16 after this match, though. The Swiss rounds will continue throughout today for this first flight. There are two more flights of Destiny that will happen tomorrow and Saturday. Mm -hmm. The top players from those all advance to Sunday, where we will crown our second ever world champion. Guys, taking their yeah. sweet time considering all the options. There we go. One on Yoda. And easy pickings, a rebel, and a mislead, all lost. Great control oh. <laughs> given up by the uh, the Force Illusion there. Mm -hmm. I mean, the alternative is death. So <laughs> still an improvement, but 
Sunday, I believe we start casting around 1030 again. So check our fantasyflightgames.com, the world streaming schedule, though, if you want to have the exact um, Twitch times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like I said, maybe some more, uh, some more spoiling on, on Sunday. Maybe. We'll see. And actually, look at that. No light post special. It was a lone operative special to heal Yoda. Ah. Hmm. I don't know that I like that choice. I guess he thinks he has more time left to kill Han. Oh, but he needs to do it before the ancient heal. Yeah, I guess I'm very curious about why not just kill Han there. I got to say, I think that was a misplay on uh, Gavin's side. Yeah, I'd like to Especially know. Especially with the six damage. <clears throat> six damage on there with the two shields. Not enough showing to kill Yoda at the moment, but Zach's got a couple of rerolls there if he needs to. And I mean, those hidden motives, it's a great control card. It's zero cost, but uh, a dead Yoda is, is very, very worth it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, potential damage still on the table that he could convert. Yeah, the stream pointing out, uh, not so bad to lose easy pickings for that Force Illusion, because you can't play it without Hondo alive anyways. Right. Ooh. Cheeky. <laughs> Zach removing his own die in order to <laughs> remove the, uh, the, uh, the Lipo die. I like wow. it. <laughs> He's keeping Han alive. He has built up uh, quite a lead at this point. Just looking for that damage. Oh, and there's some of it. What is that other die? A discard. So discard. Three damage and a discard. That uh, lone operative drawing things out a little bit, but uh, I still feel like just the kill would be. Mm-hmm. Be Although, if he'd done the kill, he would have lost already. So, what do I know? <laughs> Oh, still discard. Uh, the light bow, those of you asking, was an easy pickings play, removing his own two ranged and the light bow's two ranged. So not often that you see easy pickings used on your own dice, mm -hmm. but it can happen, and when it needs to happen, it is worth it. So ancient lightsaber to heal Han there at the bottom of the round. Zach showing his crafty veteran status, pulling a play like that, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can tell Zach has played a lot of games with this deck. He's now sitting on two hyperspace jumps. Truce looked like, was that a hasty exit? Is that even in the deck? It's not. And we've got another lone operative. We've got... Oh, unpredictable? Two, two unpredictables. Two unpredictables. Truce and two hyperspace jumps, so no upgrades. Entangle and Gavin's game. No amazing removal. I mean, unpredictable kind of soft removal there for Zach. Although he can use them both in succession if he needs to mm -hmm. to try and get rid of something big. But Yoda just does not have enough upgrades to be a big threat yet. More healing for him, though. Ooh, there we go. Predictable, the loan operative special. That's better. Yep. Just a resource. Unpredictable. <laughs> Oh, man, that was about the best thing that Yoda could roll for Zack. Mm -hmm. Rerolling the two focus into a special, I'd take that if I was Gavin, but not that way. <laughs> and that me Oh. Oh. Zack ending the round here. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. I did not either. He's got three shields. Interesting. Yoda has, what? I guess the lipo special is the is the Z factor. The lipo special can change the math real quick. Mm hmm Huh. So he's just doing everything he can, I think, to keep uh, 
the light bow special out of play here to keep Han in the game. Hmm. But now it's going to just be in play this this turn. I don't know. And he used both his unpredictables. He does have a repost, so that is actually going to end it right away. Oh, yeah. He must have just wanted Did to he have that hand. in hand. He might have already had that in hand and just known, get the shields, end it right now. It's a nice feeling when you're sitting here as Zach, knowing game over. Yeah. <laughs> <Repost> <laughs> that's game. it. Wow. The three well damage more than enough to kill Yoda and secure Zach Bun the win there. Hmm. I mean, say what you will, Han Rey, old characters, but it looks like you can teach them new tricks with some of these new. Uh, <laughs> that's right. New cards entering the, the um, the, the card pool here. Yeah, the hidden blaster right away was huge, and yes. then recurring it with Starship Graveyard. Yep. Is very, uh, very smart strategy. Absolutely. That was really good. <laughs> well, me being able to actually get him. Yeah. Was yeah, that was that was that was a satisfying yeah. gameplay, and also mm -hmm. good to see someone stopping, uh, you know, Poe Hondo there. Yeah. Uh, you know, since we've had it kind of run rampant over our two of our stream games so far. <laughs> we don't want it to completely dominate things here. Yes, sir. Well, as we said, that's the last Star Wars Destiny game that we're going to be casting today. Uh, later today will be Imperial Assault. Uh, I believe tomorrow, then, it will be Armada, followed by X-Wing all day Saturday. Mm -hmm. And Sunday, we will crown our second ever Star Wars Destiny world champ. Um, just for whatever Star Wars game you love, it has its own time in the stream. They will get their, their sort of moment in the limelight. So just mm -hmm. be patient. No, we've got one stream, you know, five mm -hmm. different games to support, and we want to show them all a little bit of love. So, uh, next game, there's going to be a little break. Imperial Assault's top 16 is going to be at 2.30 p.m. So, if you're an Imperial Assault player, tune in. There'll be top 16, top 8, top 4, and, of course, our final. And we will see who can bring it home as the Imperial Assault world champ. But, in the meantime, uh, this was Star Wars Destiny. Uh, we are going to be ending the stream, so it'll be shutting down completely so that Twitch can archive all these games and have them available to view later. Uh, but in the meantime, I've been Matt Holland. I've been Aaron Haltom. And uh, we hope you enjoyed watching the stream. Thanks for joining us.